go ahead and take up item 6.10, our 11 a.m. item, consideration of an agreement between the County of Lake and PlaceWorks in the not to exceed amount of $253,520 for Lake County Housing Action and Implementation Plan Consulting Services. And Ms. Judd, welcome. Deputy County Administrative Officer of Housing. Um, sorry, here we go. Following a highly competitive consultant uh, selection process, administration is pleased to present uh, for consideration an agreement with PlaceWorks to develop a housing action and implementation plan uh, for Lake County. This agreement is in a not to exceed amount of 253520 Staff recommends your board approve this agreement and authorize the chair to sign. If it pleases your board, Nicole West of PlaceWorks is here via Zoom to make a brief presentation on what comes next. Nicole West, welcome and thank you for your presentation today. Thank you, I'm very happy to be here today. I will share my screen now. Let's see. Um, okay, here we go. Can you see the introduction slide? Yes, we can. Okay, great. So I'm Nicole West. Thank you, Lisa, for the introduction. I'm a senior associate with PlaceWorks and I've been with PlaceWorks for over five years. On behalf of the housing team and PlaceWorks as a whole, I just wanna say how excited we are about this project and we really commend the county for being proactive about such an important topic. I understand that you're working with some of my colleagues on the general plan update, and you may have seen this slide before, but I think it's a good place to start with highlighting some of our core values. We really do think about systems when we come in and help a community, and we have the benefit of so many technical experts on our team so that we can make sure that we are getting um, expert advice about any particular subtopic that's affecting the work and really think comprehensively about all of the different interrelated parts that make up a community. Collaboration is super important to us um, right from the beginning of the project so that we make sure that we're hearing from a wide selection of community members, especially um, segments of the community that have been historically underrepresented. Collaboration is very important to us when we work with our clients because making policies and plans. Um, the most important thing is that it's going to be able to be implemented and that it really is a good fit for the community. And so we work closely with all of our clients to make sure we achieve that vision. And then finally, adaptation as a core value is really important as well. Um, the world is shifting constantly with new challenges and new laws, but also new opportunities. and. That's what's really exciting about working in this field. So we bring that to our work as well. So in particular for the housing action and implementation plan, the objectives are to get input about Lake County's housing issues from a wide range of community members. We want to identify unmet housing needs and that could be types of housing, also programs and um, services. And we also will identify constraints on housing. This is also gonna be a variety of types of constraints. It could be related to what you can build where or what the process is for getting a development approved, but it also will look at market constraints and a variety of other types of constraints. We will identify suitable sites for housing. And this is another place where it's really a benefit to continue to work with PlaceWorks because we have a, a wonderful GIS team that's geographic information systems and that's all of the mapping and geographically tied data analysis. And we've been um, building a lot of those resources for the general plan update that we'll be able to leverage. The, another objective of this plan is to develop concrete actions to increase the production and preservation of housing. And then also importantly, this will lay a foundation for the upcoming housing element update. This also brings up a question that you're probably wondering, which is how does this relate to the general plan update work that's in process? So I made this quick little diagram and under the heading of general plan, you can see there the required topics that California state law mandates. Um, the housing element 
in particular is updated on a more aggressive schedule more frequently typically than the other elements. And it also is subject to a whole suite of additional laws that the rest of the general plan is not subject to. So there's a lot that goes into it. Um, in particular for the county's general plan update process, the countywide elements and the local area plans are being updated to address all the required topics. And then I understand you're also benefiting from our wonderful um, climate team and getting a climate adaptation plan as well. And then of course, all of these documents re require environmental review as well. So you can see the housing action and implementation plan is in a bubble kind of set off to the side because it isn't part of the required general plan update, but um, there is a lot of value in looking at housing strategically and um, being proactive about considering all those things that I talked about with the, the needs and the constraints and then coming up with solutions. And that's really going to help the county when the update process, the housing element update process comes up in the next couple of years. So this is the work plan and schedule, which was really um, based off of the county's needs that were in the request for proposals. We think that we can do this in eight months, um, which is a somewhat assertive schedule because it's really important to us that we make sure we're listening to all the different voices of the community. We understand how geographically dispersed Lake County is, and we're really excited about um, being able to get input from a lot of different people throughout the county. And so it really does take time to make sure we're listening and we're processing that information. And then we're coming back with ideas and checking to make sure that those ideas reflect the needs of the community. And then also, like I mentioned, working closely with staff to make sure that we're developing ideas that are going to be actionable. So you can see here that we've got um, all of our tasks laid out and it does also include coming back before the Board of Supervisors after we have a draft plan that you've been able to look at so that we make sure that we get your feedback as well and we incorporate that into the plan. Um, yeah, and so I know I was asked to do a short presentation. I don't wanna go on too long, but I'm really happy to take any kind of questions that you might have. Supervisor Paiska. Mm -hmm. um, well, I really appreciate this presentation. I'm really excited to get it going, but I'm looking at yet more community meetings and we have so many scheduled. And is there a way that we could sort of consolidate or combine with some of the existing meetings that we already have going on so that we don't burn each other out? I think it's a fair question. And I know that Maria and I did have a brief conversation about let's see if we can synchronize these. Um, we want community feedback and we certainly don't want um, community to be burned out on, you know, too much. So we will definitely work together to see if we can make that happen. Great. Thank you. And Director Turner, did you want to add to that? Well, I'm already trying to think of ideas. Uh, so it looks like uh, with the community meetings, we don't want to make people confused regarding the Lake County 2050 community workshops versus the, the, this new project as well. Um, but I think we can integrate maybe some, uh, maybe we can activate the LAPAX, the local advisory, no, local area plan advisory councils a little earlier than before and use them as sort of a springboard to gather more public input um, during the time frame that matches this one. But we'll keep brainstorming. I think it'll go smoother for the public if we're all synchronized as we're going forward. I definitely agree with that. And that's why we made sure to include task 2.1 which is coming up with the community engagement plan to develop this strategy to address those concerns, as well as just to make sure that we're going into this process, having thought through exactly what it should look like. So that will be the one of the very first things that we dive into is, is developing what that plan will be for community engagement. Thank you. Supervisor Green. Yeah, thank you. Uh, appreciate the presentation. Uh, three broad questions in no particular order. Uh, if I can just get the 30 second elevator speech, a housing action and implementation plan is distinct from a general plan, probably has some uh, distinct uses and uh, trying to get grants and take future things. But if you could speak to just what is a housing action and implementation plan, why do we need one when we've got uh, several general plan and area plan updates going already? 
Uh, number two, in the proposal, I see that there were optional uh, deliverables that would include analysis of Clear Lake and Lake Ports regulations and policies. Uh, we may end up studying them anyway, uh, just for the county, HAIP. Uh, but I'm wondering if we did any outreach to the cities, if there's any synergies we can get with their uh, their planning processes. Uh, if they need an HAIP <clears throat> and don't have one on the shelf handy, um, what can we do to make sure we... Uh, do this lift together and uh last and probably least i don't see any specific discussion in the proposal about analyzing impacts of uh, the growth of uh, short-term rental housing uh, within our existing housing stock but i'm very curious about that subject and uh, if there's any detail that could be added I, i'd appreciate that thank you okay great thank you for that so by doing a housing action and implementation plan separately from your housing element or from the other general plan elements, it really provides you the opportunity to direct this process because it isn't governed by any kind of state laws, although this process will set you up for compliance with state laws when it comes to updating your housing element. But this is really a chance for Lake County to explore all of its issues and concerns and take time to gather input from a variety of different um, sources. There is a lot of overlap with the housing element. Definitely, it's going to um, provide a lot of analysis that will be usable in the housing element, and it will be a springboard for the housing element as far as having identified um, goals and um, strategies for addressing housing needs. Um, and then your second question about synergy with Lakeport and Clear Lake. Yes, that was something that we were really thinking a lot about. And one of the reasons why I am eager to get into this process and learn more from um, Lisa and from your staff there and um, find out all the ways that we can um, look for that synergy. And I and just wanted to the add short term the, rentals. Yes, that right, I just wanted to add in there that um, I did speak with Clear Lake, uh, Alan Flora, and Kevin Ingram are aware of this process and uh, were part of the selection. And Nicole, we didn't uh, get your last uh, statement. Just wanted to give you the chance to repeat that. Sure, the short term rentals. That's definitely a topic we can delve into and come back to you with more research and data and ideas about how to address your concerns. No, I appreciate that. I also appreciate the comment from Supervisor Green. It's definitely uh, um, a known struggle within our housing uh, stock when it comes to short-term rentals because it just takes one out of the stock, uh, becomes more of a commercial unit than a residential unit. And so that creates other issues. So I think uh, paying attention to that and having it within our plan on how to ha handle them uh, and what needs to be done, I think, is important. I appreciate the the connections already made to the uh, city of Clear Lake and city of Lakeport. I know we had spoke about this, that our housing perspective and plan is going to be a countywide plan, not an unincorporated plan. Um, and I think that's, that's how we're going to be successful in, in what it is that we're planning to do. Um, we have to work together on this. Supervisor Green. So Quick follow-up, if they participated in uh, the selection committee, did uh, so as scoped, um, did, did they express interest in um, having these optional uh, deliverables in the county proposal include the cities, or did the subject came up? Um, we didn't speak about that specifically. They're just aware of it, but they know that we're looking at a comprehensive entire county, and they seem supportive of that, but I don't want to speak on their behalf. Um, as far as the short-term rental, I uh, completely agree with you. We're looking at the full spectrum of housing, all the challenges, the gaps, and how, even more importantly, to find solutions to those issues. Okay, so just to clarify, as it's presented for approval today, the uh, optional deliverables involving the cities is not included in the scope of work. We did include that as, as what we were presenting today. All right, thank include Clear Lake and Lakeport as a full county comprehensive uh, study. All right. And we'll need subsequent action from the cities to formally buy in? I guess, um, no, I, I don't believe so. Okay, thank you. I think that's because we're, we're paying for the contract. This is our contract, not theirs. They're just a partner. In right, this and I didn't hear any concerns against that at all. CAO Parker? Yes, I have one. Um, very important aspect of this um, strategic plan is the fact that it's going to provide Lisa and the team 
a handbook, a playbook on how to move forward once we assess and determine the path forward. So it's a very important piece of the uh, puzzle, is how do we do it and what are the steps and tasks to complete in order to accomplish our goals. Thank, Thank you. you. I, 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 100% agree. I mean, we can figure out where the problems are, but without solutions, that's not as meaningful for our communities. Um, housing such a, you know, foundation for our communities and their health and thriving. Um, it's very exciting to be able to do this with PlaceWorks. Um, they've already begun the momentum. I think that we can work together to make this an efficient way to find solutions. Um, and I appreciate you listening to this presentation. Um, and hopefully we can find the most optimal solutions to help our communities. Absolutely. Any other comments? Uh, I do uh, want to mention something. Uh, so we uh, received three proposals for this. Uh, I know that in um, going back and forth in emails with you, Ms. Judd, um, I recognize some of the proposals that were submitted. Uh, I was a little unsure how to uh, move forward today because the one that we're approving today is something like 25% more than the uh, next um, proposal that was submitted. Uh, but I know that PlaceWorks is uh, in high regards when it comes to our staff and just uh, uh, public government. And uh, we need to make sure we have the highest level of plan to get the action that we need. We've been getting behind when it comes to uh, housing and we need to get ahead. And so um, I just wanted to uh, put that out there for transparency purposes, uh, but I am going to uh, give my approval for this to move forward. I think that we need to have the best and do the best in order to get the best. So I just wanted to make that statement and thank you for bringing this to us. If there's nothing further, let's go ahead and open it up for public comment. Anybody in the board chambers or Zoom wish to speak on this item? Okay, let's go ahead and bring him back for action. There's nothing further, Chair. I move to approve the agreement between the County of Lake and PlaceWorks for the not to exceed amount of $253,520 for the Lake County Housing Action and Implementation Plan Consulting Services and authorize the Chair to sign. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you.